Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hardcore Games channel. I'm your host, Tony, and today we're taking a look at an Earthbound 64 mod that's really an Ocarina of Time mod. It's Ocarina transferring to Earthbound 64. It's a little bit strange, but hear me out because it's pretty neat. So this is a work in progress. Really, at this point, more of a proof of concept. Zen and Garrett, the two developers here, have been able to successfully recreate Lucas and Flint in Ocarina of Time as Young Link and Adult Link, respectively. Now their goal here is to ultimately recreate Earthbound 64's Space World demo, but inside Ocarina of Time. But before we get further into that, let's go ahead and see what we have so far. Now in case you don't remember, this is what Lucas looked like in Earthbound 64 slash Mother 3. And here's how Flint was modeled. And frankly, Garrett and Zen did a really good job here, although it's pretty hilarious as it stands because they are super, super out of place within Ocarina of Time. And the cutscenes, like watching them, is especially um, surreal. Now, I've always been of the opinion that Earthbound 64's models were an odd combination of great detail and facial expressions and simultaneously really garbage N64 polygon work. It's just always been this weird combination of like, wow, that really looks good, but that part doesn't. <laughs> so it, it's a little bit weird and, and strangely, they, they kind of nailed that. Now, I understand that of course, Earthbound 64 never came out. Everything we saw of it was just previews and unfinished. And of course it was released later on down the line as Mother 3 on the Game Boy Advance. But what we did see was somewhat rudimentary. And you saw this a little bit more in the townsfolk, but Lucas was also kind of simple looking. Whereas Flint, at least to me, seemed a little bit more complex of a model. Maybe that's just me. But those details, or lack thereof in some cases, are reflected here, and the characters look almost exact to their real counterparts. <laughs> One aspect focused on by the team on the detail end of the spectrum are the facial expressions. All of these that you see here are implemented within each character and are visible especially in the cutscenes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the team wants to recreate the Space World demo with an ocarina, and there are several maps being developed for this, including Tesmili and the Sunshine Forest. And also, of course, it looks a little bit odd having these characters with a Hylian shield and the Master Sword, so custom weapons will also be created, including a stick, a pipe, funny stick, vigor stick, etc. Now, again, this is early, but here's why I like it. It seems like nobody else is attempting or bothering to do anything like this, at least that I'm aware of anyways. You know, there have been attempts and current attempts to mod Mother 3 on the Game Boy Advance, but everyone seems to ooh and ah over the unreleased Earthbound 64, right, for the N64. But no one has ever tried to recreate anything of it, or at least haven't gotten far enough for anyone to really know about it? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but it, it seems very strange to me. But at the same time, of course, it's much different than trying to recreate a beta of Mario 64 or Zelda 64, you know, like a game that's been released that you could just mod. You know, this would have to be done from the ground up. So, you know, it, it kind of is a smart thing to try to recreate it in Ocarina, which is a very well-documented game and well-documented engine. So. You know, we'll see where this goes. I, you know, it's very interesting. I'm curious how they're going to be able to do, like, the RPG-style battle screens. I, I really don't know. But, you know, I'm excited to see what happens next. So thanks again to Garrett and Zen for sending this ROM over and letting me play around with it. Really appreciate it. And of course, thank you to all of you out there for watching, subscribing to our Patreon supporters who help keep the show running. Really appreciate it, everybody. And we'll see you all next time. Their heart.